Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of Attack ERP19 and in this tutorial we are going to cover the production module. So in order to enable the production module, all you have to do is just to go to administration settings and module settings and there will be the uh, production management system over here. Just enable this checkbox and you are good to go. And then once you are done with that, we can go to the production and then uh, the first uh, step is, is to create the master forms. So under masters, the first form is this, to create the stage. So whatever the kind of uh, a production which you are running right now, uh, you 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 will definitely have multiple stages like uh, the production stage, the assembly stage, and all the, the there will be multiple stages for any production company. So you have to create all the stages which is necessary to uh, to work out this production. So in this case, I'm going to create the first stage as uh, the production stage just like that you can create any number of stages you want um, if it is an automobile company there will be it, it will be different uh, so just like that based on your requirement you can create as many stages as you want the second step is to create the machines uh, enter the name of the machines which you're using to um, uh, to deploy you deploy in this uh, production um, or, or factory or whatever it is um, let's say machine one in this case you can name it as you want to all you have to do is just to enter the name and click save so once you're done with that uh, you can just click save and then moving on to the next step is to add the resources but the thing is, before adding the resources, you need to create a debit account. So in order to do that, what you have to do is just to go to the account inventory, masters and create under chart of accounts. You need to create a ledger under the indirect expenses. So let, let me add a uh, production expense. Under indirect expenses click save and when you check under profit and loss expenses in that expense there will be the production expenses and if you want to then you can add multiple expenses over here under the indirect expense and the only ledgers under the indirect expenses will be shown in the debit account over here so let's say if you have any resources if you are uh, if you want to add if you want to add any type of expenses like as such uh, for creating the end product then you can add all that resources over here uh, so in this case i'm going to add like the packing charges or something like that the packing uh, charge or anything like that you can add any uh, resource which you are using and uh, unit for the same unit a let's say and if you need to enter the charges for the same then you can enter the same you need to specify the debit account over here so the production expense and once it gets credited which account you want to affect which you want to get the effect so i'll just choose cash account in this case and then the record is successfully saved and then comes the uh, final step on the masters, which is the bill of materials, obviously. Uh, you can uh, enter the name over here. So I've already created one um, uh, entry of juice. So this is the, um, the bill of material which I have created. You need to enter the name over here. You can add any remarks if you want to. You can set the status as active or inactive. And then comes the main product. You need to enter the final product over here. Yeah, so in this case, I've added the main product as mango juice. Uh, so if there is any other byproducts which you have, if you have any leftovers and there is any byproduct, then you can go to the second row and enter the byproduct name as well. So in this uh, case, we necessarily don't have any byproducts. But if we are talking about a hair oil or kind of stuff, coconut oil, something like that, uh, there will be the coconut oil cake will be there. So that is the byproduct. So just like that you can create as many um, um, Main products and byproducts based on your requirement and then comes the components uh, 
so you need to add the raw materials to create this particular product over here so the first one which i have added here is the product uh, which is sugar to create uh, the mango juice so in order to add a few more products i can uh, add essence or something like that uh, mango mango pulp essence under master and i can add the amount uh, the selling price as uh, 70 and i can add the product over here uh, mango pulp essence uh, as a uh, five quantity and the sugar as uh, 10 quantity so these are the stages and uh, machines which I have added so if you want to change the stages uh, you can change it over here uh, use the different machines and etc like that and then comes if you want to uh, change the uh, type as the from product to resource then all you have to do is just to go here and uh, you can choose packing charges which we just created uh, a step before and then you can mention the quantity and the weight and all the details for the same so and once you have added all the components as well it's uh, good to go all you have to do is just to save it and once you're done with that the bill of materials is saved and now moving on to the transaction section the first one is to order the products so in this case we have only have one uh, bill of material so the juice i'm, I'm going to choose the juice over here so once you choose it uh, the product the main product will be listed here the all the components will be listed here and the cost of the cost percentage so if you have multiple uh, products like the a main product and byproduct then you can split the cost percentage over here like 50 percentage for the uh, mango juice and the 50 percentage for the byproduct you can split the cost if you want to then it is not a necessary field uh, it is only uh, needed if you have multiple products so you can split the cost for the same and this is the cost of the product and this is the rate so you can change the rate and all the details of the profit percentage if you can if you want to then you can increase the profit percentage as well so likewise you can do make all the necessary changes if you want to and once you're done with that you can add due dates as well and then click save to order this particular bill of material and then comes the receipt section so we have ordered the transaction now we can call the order so this is the order which we have made all you have to do is just to click this checkbox and press ok so that all the details from the um, the order will be um, uh, shown in the receipt form and from this section you can update the sale rate of the product and update the cost as purchase rate of the product and the purchase rate of the component as well you can change or uh, you can update all these details from the receipt form itself and uh, all you now have to do is just to click save and we have received the product okay so if you want to check the stock uh, then you can go to the uh, inventory section and uh, stock list product name as mango juice there will be one stock for the product since the production is completed this is the uh, product uh, which we uh, this is the stock which is left and that's all about the uh, production section uh, the transaction and masters and now comes to the reporting section uh, that is the bill of materials a report and you can search by all these criteria over here like the main you can filter the main product only uh, so if you uh, click search you can see all the main products which you have added in the bill of materials if you want the byproduct and if you want the components or uh, you, or you can just click all so that you can preview all the products and the main comp uh, the main component the main and the uh, components uh, the main product and the uh, now we can preview all the main products and the components which we have added uh, for the bill of materials 
and you can filter using uh, the products we can filter using product name or we can filter using the group name the product group name and you can also filter using the resources like the parking charge and all the resources which you want to you can name the bill of material which you want to for example right now i have use and you can filter the branch and also the uh, the depot if you have added any user fields right now it is not enabled that's the reason why it is not showing right now if you have enabled any then uh, uh that particular user field will be visible and you can filter the, the same over here and then comes to the next one which is the order report the production order report and the production order report you can uh, filter using two options voucher wise and product wise in the voucher wise option though you can filter the voucher number you can uh, filter it using the remarks you can uh, check the order status as received or pending uh, and all you can also uh, check the due date if it is due or overdue or anything and you can filter using the payment amount and then comes uh, the bill of material name and branch and then you can filter it using the date and just preview the same there are two uh, types of report the one is summary and then there is a detailed report so if I press this, the detail option, then all the product will be listed. This is the main product. Uh, this is sorry. The, uh, so once you, so once you click preview, and all the details will be listed here. So once we click preview, all the details of the products uh, will be listed here. The this is the main product, and this is the bill of material which we have uh, created, and all the further details of the same is available in this report okay so this is the voucher wise option and if you go to the product wise option then there will be you can filter using the main product or by product or components like that and product wise group wise and resource wise options are also available and then comes the last report which is the receipt report which is pretty much the same from the uh, order report the, this is the uh, final report or uh, to preview which or, or pro products we have received uh after ordering the same uh, you can filter using voucher number order number remarks over here you can also filter using the payment amount like uh the orders ranging from ten thousand to twenty thousand or maybe one thousand to two thousand etc like that you can enter the range amount uh, over here and you can specify the bom name and the branch name also you can filter using product wise just like we uh saw in the previous report and that's pretty much all about the uh, production so thank you for watching and have a great day